Have a look at this short film where we put the Game Boy Fibre 410 load through its paces. 18 grams of sixes and pure fibre. I did not expect the results that the pattern board gave me. I was very surprised and so was Les, my 410 expert. I decided to pattern test these loads as I had been invited to Castle Bolton to produce a 410 film. This film being a precursor to encourage all the shooting estates to put at least one affordable day on each year. I think personally this will encourage more and more youngsters into the field. After all, where mums and dads can afford it, the youngsters will follow. Good evening everybody. Right, we've back to basics here. We're going back to the little 410. I've been invited to do another film uh, in two or three days time. Got my good friend Les here. Uh, you've, you've seen Les before on the, the other 410 film that we did and the testing that we did. I always like to bring him along. He's very knowledgeable in, in 410 loads. And we're going to test this little game boy. 18 grams of number six. It's 73, a 73, 73 mil, mil case. Mrs. three inch case, yeah. And what they call a magnum case. And uh, hopefully we're going to get some good test results with this. And we've picked a horrible night for it, Les. Terrible. As you know. Yeah. It's cold, it's windy, it's raining. Typical shooting day. T typical shooting day. We'll so test the 410 it, to its abilities. Let's have a go. Right, we're using the, uh, the 525 410 supplied by Browning. And uh, I'm going to put it through the, the full choke. We're bang on 35 yards away and it's a horrible night, so we flood lit. Let's see what we can do. Well, Les, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't expect a pattern like that. It's absolutely blown the DVD up altogether. There was nothing left at all of the CD, was there? No. In fact, uh, and we put two pattern plates on there. <laughs> well done, Les. <laughs> He's gone. Never <laughs> mind the expense. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Les has missed it. I, le I left him to put the pattern plate on. He's put two on. He's gone through two pattern plates and, uh, and, and, and that's part of the DVD there as well. I absolutely wrecked the DVD, Les. Going back to the pattern plate, uh, you can see if, if you look at the, this, I covered that with the DVD, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's about 16 pellets there that's gone through the DVD at 35 yard. And I don't care what you say, Les, you know, I, I'm absolutely astounded about the pattern on that, you know, because I got a few uh, indicators of people that said, oh, that it's a fibre wad, it ain't going to pattern as well as a 410 with a uh, with a plasmod, and I think you were shocked yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, it would be interesting to see it fired through your quarter choke. Yeah. Because the full choke obviously benefits the fiber fiber yeah. wad. Yeah. So you let it either. Well, we do all that now. Yeah. Yeah. Because it means. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to need two full chokes when you yeah. go on this four ten there. Yeah. We'll do all that now though. Just with one pattern plate though. Yeah. Just one. <laughs> we'll, we'll save our money this time. My old mate. Les is very impressed with it so far through the full choke, but uh, let's give it a twirl through the quarter choke now, Les. Yeah. You can't wait. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you see, well, it's it, it shattered the uh, the the DVD again. This is quarter choke, same load, 18 gram of sixes. And for a quarter choke, you're, you're uh, well amazed again, aren't you? Yeah, impressed again. Yeah. And I didn't expect that, but but Les did note when I did pull the trigger, I pulled I pulled to the left a bit, but I, I pulled I pulled it slightly uphill as well. And I'm not going to I'm not going to do another test because the actual uh, load is perfect there. Mm -hmm. And if I'd have shot and, and L, if I'd have shot. It's yeah, it had been it had been all in there anyway, but it's I shot slightly high to the left, but the pattern is exactly where I shot, yeah. so there's no reason to to go back and, and test oh. that. But for a five or one, Les, that's unbelievable. It is. Yeah, it's making a job at pellet, uh, Les, isn't it? Really, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the... Uh, bit of DVD. Yeah, that's a bit of DVD and a bit of cardboard at the back. But as you can see, the, the pellets are quite flat. There's there's plenty of power there, then pellets at 35 yard. Right, so the quarter chalk is put one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's five less pellets, but if you look at if you put that circle there and fetch that down a little bit, and fetch that down a little bit I reckon we'd we'd be we'd only be two or three pellets lighter than than, than the full choke. Yeah. Anyway, we're out on the uh, on the twelfth right. at Castle Bolton, mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll we'll give it a spin there. It's a purely four ten day, and uh, as all my viewers know, I'm I'm not a four ten advocate. But if it uh, if it's a, if there's a chance of introducing youngsters into the field through four tens, and and put him on on game that uh, that is killable with four tens, then I'm all for it. Anyway, that's it. Lovely. We'll see you next time.